In this video, I'm going to be showing how to use MailChimp Embedded Forms. An embedded form is added to your site to collect email subscriber details. Unlike pop-up forms, these are embedded directly in your site's pages. Firstly, you need to design the form using MailChimp's Embedded Form Builder. Secondly, paste this HTML code into your website and start collecting emails. An embedded form could be pasted in many areas of your site, for example, the footer, the sidebar, or indeed a dedicated email signup page. The best email newsletter signup forms have two elements. They combine persuasive content with a prominent location. The best emails have a clear value proposition. Make your offer clear and appealing in your signup form. Ways to attract subscribers include exclusive offers, exclusive content, and exclusive events. For example, in this slide, Burberry's newsletter subscribers can access exclusive events, limited edition products, new collaborations, and expert services. The placement of your signup form is one of the most important success factors. People will never convert if they do not find your form, so ensure it is prominently displayed. You can increase conversion further by placing the signup form in multiple locations. Common places to embed a signup form on your website include the page header, the about page, the sidebar, underneath or weaved into a blog post, the page footer, on a signup page, or as a floating bar. For example, on my website, Hello Baby, we scroll to the bottom. We'll see a sign-up form where we can enter an email and click sign up. Forms with fewer fields are much more successful. More fields make your form more difficult to fill in, leading to fewer conversions. After analyzing 1 million pop-ups, Sleek Note they found that more fields in your form resulted in the following drop of conversion rate. You can see that sites which have one or two fields have over 3% conversion rate, whereas three or more is very much lower. When building a pop-up form, only ask for the information you need. You can always ask people for more information once they become subscribers via a survey. Asking for a name in addition to an email is usually a good idea as a name will enable you to personalize future emails. This example from Banklinko is a good example of a simple signup form with a single field. You see they're just asking for the very minimum information to increase their signup rate. On your embedded form, you need to optimize your call to action. Your CTA or call to action button asks customers to sign up for your list. It's a small part of your form, but greatly influences conversion rate. Best practices for improving conversion rate include making the button stand out. Choose a clear color for your button so it stands out from the rest of your page. You should start with an imperative. For example, sign up, get or start. Encourage conversions by telling the reader how to act. You should also be clear. Let the user know what to expect. For example, in the Burberry form we looked at earlier, it was very clear what the customer was going to get. On this sign up form from Backlinker we looked at earlier, you can see that it's combining a, a number of the things we've talked about. It's got an exclusive offer. It's only one field and we're looking here, it says try it, inviting the customer to take an action. The button is also in a contrasting color. Now we're gonna look at how you set up an embedded form in MailChimp. In MailChimp, if you go to audience and then sign up forms, and then you click on embedded form, you can edit the layout of your form. So first let's look at form fields. Here we can select the fields we want and also the order. So you have to have an email address selected. So second, we've got here a free form field just clicked into it now. You can change the display name and you can also add some help text if you want to. If we, for example, wanted to add first name, we'd add that and you see it appears in the form and last name. And we can change the order of these fields if we want to. And I'm just gonna remove that free form field. So it'll only say email, first name and last name. We click on settings. We can give the form a title and we can set the width. There's also some formatting options here for HTML. We can set a tag, which is added to all users who sign up through this form. So if we, for example, selected customer, any user who signs up using this form will be tagged with customer in the audience list. Once you've finished editing your form, you can click continue and you can copy the code there for cutting and pasting into your website.